Yashar Jasher 65. And it came to pass after these kings that all the counselors of Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, and all the elders of Mitzrayim assembled and came before the king and bowed down to the ground and they sat before him. And the counselors and elders of Mitzrayim spoke unto the king, saying, Behold, the people of the children of Yashadael is greater and mightier than we are. And you know all the evil which they did unto us in the road when we returned from battle. And you've also seen their strong power for this power is unto them from their fathers. For but a few men stood up against a people numerous as the sand, and smote them at the edge of the sword. And of themselves not one has fallen, so that if they had been numerous, they would then have utterly destroyed them. Now therefore give us counsel what to do with them until we gradually destroy them from amongst us, lest they become too numerous for us in the land. And, rather, for if the children of Yashara'el should increase in the land, they will become an obstacle to us. And if any war should happen to take place, they with their great strength will join our enemy against us and fight against us destroy us from the land, and go away from it. So the king answered the elders of Mitzrayim, and said unto them, This is the plan advised against Yashara'el, from which we will not depart. Behold, in the land are Pitam and Ra'amechsek, cities unfortified against the battle, it behooves you and us to build them and to fortify them. Now therefore go you also and act cunningly toward them and proclaim a voice in Mitzrayim and in Goshen at the command of the king, saying, All ye men of Mitzrayim, Goshen, Patrak, and all their inhabitants, the king has commanded us to build Pitam and Ra'amsek and to fortify them for battle. Who amongst you of all Mitzrayim, of the children of Yashar'el, and of all the inhabitants of the city, are willing to build with us? Shall each have his wages given to him daily at the king's order? So go you first and do cunningly, and gather yourselves and come to Pitam and Ra'amasek to build. And while you are building, cause a proclamation of this kind to be made throughout Mitzrayim, every day at the command of the king. And when some of the children of Yashara'el shall come to build with you, you shall give them their wages for a few days. And after they shall have built with you for their daily hire, drag yourselves away from them daily, one by one in secret, and then you shall rise up and become their taskmasters and officers. And you shall leave them afterward to build without wages. And should they refuse, then force them with all your might to build. And if you do this, it will be well with us to strengthen our land against the children of Yashara'el. For on account of the fatigue of the building and the work, the children of Yashara'el will decrease because you will deprive them from their women day by day. And all the elders of Mitzrayim heard the counsel of the king, and the counsel seemed good in their eyes, 
and in the eyes of the servants of Pharaoh, and in the eyes of all Mitzrayim. And they did according to the word of the king. And all the servants went away from the king, and they caused a proclamation to be made in all Mitzrayim, in Tach and in Goshen, and in all the cities which surrounded Mitzrayim, saying, You have seen what the children of Esau and Yishmael did to us, who came to war against us and wished to destroy us. Now, therefore, the king commanded us to fortify the land, to build the cities Pitham and Ra'amsek, and to fortify them for battle, if they should again come against us. Whosoever of you from all Mitzrayim and from the children of Yashara'el will come to build with us, he shall have his daily wages given by the king, as his command is unto us. And when Mitzrayim and all the children of Yashara'el heard all that the servants of Pharaoh had spoken, there came from the Mitzrayim and the children of Yashara'el to build with the servants of Pharaoh, Pitam and Ra'amsek, but none of the children of Levi came with their brethren to build. And all the servants of Pharaoh and his princes came at first with deceit to build with all Yashara'el as daily hired laborers. And they gave to Yashara'el their daily hire at the beginning. And the servants of Pharaoh built with all Yashara'el, and were employed in that work with Yashara'el for a month. At the end of the month, all the servants of Pharaoh began to withdraw secretly from the people of Yashara'el daily. And Yashara'el went on with the work at that time. But they then received their daily hire because some of the men of Mitzrayim were yet carrying on the work with Yashara'el at that time. Therefore, the Mitzrayim gave Yashara'el their hire in those days in order that they, the Mitzrayim, their fellow workmen, might also take the pay for their labor. And... At the end of a year and four months, all the Mitzrim had withdrawn from the children of Yashara'el, so that the children of Yashara'el were left alone, engaged in the work. And after all the Mitzrim had withdrawn from the children of Yashara'el, they returned and became oppressors and officers over them. And some of them stood over the children of Yashara'el as taskmasters to receive from them all that they gave them for the pay of their labor. And the Mitzrim did in this manner to the children of Yashara'el day by day in order to afflict in their work. And all the children of Yashara'el were alone engaged in the labor, and the Mitzrim refrained from giving any pay to the children of Yashara'el from that time forward. I'm recording. And when some of the men of Yashara'el refused to work on account of the wages not being given to them, then the exactors and the servants of Pharaoh oppressed them and smote them with heavy blows, and made them return by force to labor with their brethren. Thus did all the Mitzrim unto the children of Yashara'el all the days. And all the children of Yashara'el were greatly afraid of the Mitzrim in this matter. And all the children of Yashara'el returned and worked alone without pay. And the children of Yashara'el 
built Pitam and Ra'amsek, and all the children of Yashar'el did the work, some making bricks and some building. And the children of Yashar'el built and fortified all the land of Mitzrayim and its walls. And the children of Yashar'el were engaged in work for many years until the time came when Yahuwah remembered them and brought them out of Mitzrayim. But the children of Levi were not employed in the work with their brethren of Yashara'el. From the beginning unto the day of their going forth from Mitzrayim. For all the children of Levi knew that the Mitzrayim had spoken all these words with deceit to Yashara'el. Therefore the children of Levi refrained from approaching to the work with their brethren. And the Mitzrim did not direct their attention to the children of Levi work afterward. Rather, did not direct their attention to make the children of Levi work afterward since they had not been with their brethren at the beginning. Therefore the Mitzrim left them alone. And the hands of the men of Mitzrayim were directed with continued severity against the children of Yashara'el in that work. And the Mitzrim made the children of Yashara'el work with vigor. And the Mitzrim embittered the lives of the children of Yashara'el with hard work in mortar and bricks and also in all manner of work in the field. And the children of Yashara'el called Milol, the king of Mitzrayim, Meror, king of Mitzrayim, because in his days the Mitzrayim had embittered their lives with all manner of work. And all the work wherein the Mitzrayim made the children of Yashara'el labor they exacted with rigor in order to afflict the children of Yashara'el. But the more they afflicted them, the more they increased and grew. And the Mitzrim were grieved because of the children of Yashara'el. <laughs>